Hello, welcome. My name is Sean Talbot. This is my tiny house. I built it over the last couple of years. Uh, and I would love to give you a tour of it. Thanks for joining me. This tiny house is 20 feet long. On the, the box is 20 feet. Uh, with the trailer tongue, it's 24. And it's eight and a half feet wide. I built on a custom trailer. It's got two uh, 7,000 pound axles and the tiny house itself is somewhere between nine and 11,000 pounds, so well under that uh, capacity. Just replaced the tires, uh, they're brand new, it's ready to travel. Um, what else? The siding is cedar lap siding. It's got kind of like a 50s modern look, I was told about the, the style. It's a standing seam metal uh, roofing, shed roof style, and it's got lots of windows. I was living in a basement when I started building it and I, I really really wanted to have lots of sunlight and lots of daylight in there so there is that. Um, there are Milgard vinyl windows, uh, double pane. There's one aluminum frame up top that slides in the primary loft um, and otherwise they're, it's really well insulated um, from the eight foot section up. Uh, it's all three inch rigid foam insulation and below that it's R15 bat insulation. Um, also have a three inch rigid foam in the subfloor which is two by four, two by four stick framed. This desktop is a live edge of a spalted maple slab. Uh, it's a really special uh, desk, desktop for me. Uh, it's also very removable. So if that wants to be the couch space or something else or a workspace, um, everything in this house is uh, finished with tongue oil or polyurethane, so I tried to keep it as natural and as least toxic as I possibly could. And it's also a space where you can look out. Wanted a relatively simple storage solution, so shelves, small closet area, you could cover with a curtain or something else and also that kind of created a, a room-like feel for the writing space and also divided the kitchen. Storage for the ladder, which we'll show in more detail in a few moments. Kind of an open counter space for kitchen work, storage, drawers. There's a three burner propane stove and a small refrigerator, a dorm style refrigerator. And some pressed tin is the backsplash that I salvaged from a finished carpentry project a few years ago. And some creative cabinet storage pieces. I really enjoyed making these. Some nice curves and lines and different options for support. This is a threaded rod, holds these pretty solid. And a pretty basic sink space. Again, coming back to not a lot of distractions. I didn't want this to be a space where there were a million things happening. This is the door to the bathroom, because that's a necessary space. Pocket door opens up and closes. Can we... This is a composting toilet, a Sunmar. This is NSF certified. I got it because it prioritizes uh, being sanitary and clean and, and easy to compost. Um, it's also vented, so it's to keep smell to an absolute minimum. We have a daylight shower. This is the main loft. Uh, it's eight by eight. So there's enough space for a king-size mattress and some low uh, clothing storage. 
Uh, there's also no overhead lights up here. Uh, I found that to be pretty blinding when I was building it. So there's an outlet here on a switch over here uh, for small lamps, um, reading lamps, etc. And now we're on the other loft. Let me turn the light on here. This is the reading nook. At least that was the original idea. It could also be storage, uh, guest bedroom. Uh, this is about eight by three and a half, so enough places, uh, enough space to sleep if you want, uh, or just have a cozy place to read a book. One thing I really love about this space is the high ceilings. That was a priority for me also. I'm six, three and a half, depending on which foot I'm standing on. And that's one thing I really, really appreciate about this space.